Public sector workers were protesting Senate Bill 256 at the Capitol today. Yeah, busy day at the Capitol. The bill would change several provisions concerning unions. ABC 27's Ariel Schiller explains what those provisions are and why people are speaking out. If this bill passes, union members would have to sign a membership authorization form stating that Florida is a right to work state. It would also change the ratio of the collective bargaining unit members to 60% eligible members paying dues as part of registration renewal. Current uni union members are not okay with these changes. For the union makes us strong. Senate Bill 256 is changing how unions will operate in the state of Florida. Senator Blaze Angolia explains that it will require members to sign a membership authorization form that recognizes Florida as a right to work state starting January 1st. It would also make it so dues have to be paid directly to a union instead of it being taken from an employee's paycheck. Unions negotiating on issues affecting both members and non-member employees should have at least 60 percent of eligible members paying dues. Dozens of people were outside the Senate chambers at the Capitol Thursday to protest the bill, including Jordan Scott, president of the Big Ben Labor Chapter of the Central Labor Council. He's also a member of the Florida State University Graduates Assistance United. He says he was protesting what he calls union busting. They're attacking, are attacking our public sector unions and, and uh, through this SB 256 and we want to make sure that they that the senators vote no on this bill. Scott says he believes if this bill passes it could hurt jobs that are known for having unions. He uses teachers as an example. Essentially the only barrier between between teachers that's fighting back for teachers and students and and, and parents against what the state government has been doing. So you can pretty much guarantee that if, if they lose their right to collectively bargain, teachers are going to not going to want to come to the state of Florida. Robert Arnold came from Gainesville to protest today. He says SB 256 is not the first time the state has tried to change how unions work. It's gone before the, the House and the Senate here year after year trying to raise that because they know that the more unattainable it is, the harder it is to maintain membership. And then they, because the ultimate goal is to decertify the unions and make us go away. According to the bill history, it had a first reading for the Fiscal Policy Committee two days ago. Reporting live in Tallahassee, Ariel Schiller, ABC 27.